one of the earliest expeditions we had was to the mountain of K2 in Pakistan, uh, the second highest peak in the world, uh, about 8,600 metres high. And in 1986, we went up there with a big expedition. I realised that in order to do the geology, you had to have a climbing component to the expedition because most of the trek in is along the, the glacier, the Baltoro Glacier, which is this fabulous valley that cuts right through the mountain range. But to get up to the interesting mountains and the high, the interesting rocks which were up on the high peaks of K2 and neighbouring mountains, you had to have climbing experience to go up there. So I organised an expedition for four climbers and four geologists and to get eight of us up there for two months involved about a hundred porters. So we had to buy food for three, about a hundred people for three months, which was like running a small army, basically. And uh, we went up to Concordia, had a base camp up there, and uh, decided that's where we were going to base for the next two months, to look at all the mountains around Broad Peak, Gashabram, and K2. And then we sent all the porters back, had this mountain of food up on our base camp, weather was perfect, and I thought, right, we should, first thing we should do is go try and get as high as we could on K2. Uh, the trouble was, of course, you needed permission, and that needed peak fees, lots of money. Anyway, we tracked up to K2, and there was a Swiss expedition up there with a delightful Pakistani liaison officer who gave us permission to go up as high as we could in 48 hours. So uh, two of us, uh, Tony Rex and myself, roped up, climbed through the night, through the icefall, got onto the Abruzzi Ridge, Conditions were absolutely perfect. Ice was absolutely perfect. The weather was clear. And by sunrise the next morning, we found that we were up at nearly 6,800 meters. And the dawn was spectacular. You could see for miles over these peaks of heading off towards Tibet and Ladakh. And it was just wonderful up there. And there were just two of us stretched way out on a limb with two days food and one rope. And uh, that's how we started collecting all our samples from high up on K2. And when we got those rocks back to K2, we were able to look at them under the microscope, do the geochemistry of them, find out their pressures, temperatures, date the rocks using uranium lead isotopes. And it was really the climbing part of the trip that enabled us to get into the guts of the Karakoram Mountains and to actually find out how these rocks formed, where they came from, and how they got up to their spectacular high peaks today.